Of course, you can wear whatever you want. It's a free country after all. But I think we can all agree that there are a couple of items that are just not the most flattering option. And in the end, don't we all want to look and dress our best? And that's why I created this list of seven items that should be out of style in 2024. And I also give you some options of what you could wear instead. This is just my opinion, of course. So if you get offended, then please do me a favor and leave me a long and angry comment below the video. Now that we have that out of the way, let's get started with the list. The first item on the list are Henley shirts. It's this weird mix between a t-shirt and a polo shirt, and in my opinion, it always looks a little bit off. I always have to think of Dexter when I see Henley shirts, and I have to admit that I feel like a little bit of a hypocrite here because in the past, I also bought a couple of Henley shirts, but I almost never wore them simply because even though I was not very fashionable back then, I could already feel that something about them didn't really look right when I wore them. I know that most guys who go for Henley shirts, they try to go for this kind of rugged and masculine look, but this only works if you're in exceptional shape. But even if you're in really great shape, in my opinion it would still look better if you would wear a t-shirt or a polo shirt. So in my opinion it's one of those items that have to go in 2024. Next up on the list, we have skin tight clothes. I know this was more of a trend about 10 years ago, but it's something that I still see pretty much every day. You see guys that are wearing clothes that are so tight that you're thinking, how are they even able to move, let alone breathe in those things? And you see this especially with a lot of muscular guys or skinny guys. And I just saw a really good example of this the other day. I was waiting for a taxi and I saw this guy, he was obviously in great shape and he was wearing a white dress shirt and navy blue chinos, which I mean, it's not a bad look. You can never really go wrong with navy chinos and white shirt. But there was one problem with the outfit and I think you guessed it already, it was extremely tight. It was so tight that if you would go close enough, you would probably be able to see the veins through a shirt. And I get that you want to show off your hard work in the gym, but trust me, it would look better if you would leave a little bit more room in your clothes, just a little bit. And then on the other hand, you also see some really skinny guys wearing very, very skin tight clothes. And this is also not the most flattering look. I'm not trying to body shame anybody here, but if you're really skinny, for example, and you wear extremely skinny clothes, then it draws so much attention to this. So if you leave a little bit more room in the clothes, it's gonna look a lot more flattering. You obviously don't want them to be too baggy either, but in this case specifically we're talking about skinny clothes and there's actually an easy way to figure out if something is too tight. You can just follow your gut because if you wear something and you have a feeling that it's a little bit too tight, just a tiny feeling already, then usually it is too tight. And in the case of dress shirts or a suit jacket for example, it's quite easy because you don't really want to see a lot of strain in the fabric around your buttons because that means that the shirt or the jacket is too tight. Of course if you move around it's going to be a bit different, but if you're standing still you don't really want to see a lot of strain in the fabric around your buttons. Rip jeans are another item that I think should be out of style in 2024. And I don't know if you noticed this, but the same guys who wear skin tight clothes are many times also the same guys who wear ripped jeans. And to make matters worse, many times it's ripped jeans that are skin tight in a light blue color. And then also with this weird chain on the side. And many times the holes are so big that you can basically see half of the legs through the pants. And this is one of those things that look more ridiculous the older you get. If you're in your teens or maybe your early 20s, it's kind of understandable you're trying to find your style. I still wouldn't recommend you to go for this, but if you're in your 30s, or your 40s and you wear ripped jeans with a lot of holes it just looks a little bit weird in my opinion i think every guy looks better in a pair of dark jeans that is very minimal and ideally little to no fading as well or if you want to step it up a notch you could go for some chinos or some linen trousers for a more smart casual look or for a pair of wool trousers for a more elegant look Number four on the list are square toe shoes. Why people are buying them and also why companies keep producing them is kind of a mystery to me. They are super clunky and they are the opposite of flattering. I think the problem is that many of us, including myself, when we grew up, we didn't really have anybody to guide us into what looks good and what doesn't look good on us. And that's why many times if we go to a store and we're left to our own devices, then we end up picking something that doesn't really look good on us. So in my opinion, I think it would be a lot easier to dress well if the stores didn't have that many options available. And of course, if the options would be better as well. You probably had the experience where you went to a Chinese restaurant and the menu had about 20 pages, hundreds of dishes, and it can be very overwhelming in picking what you want. And in this case, it's also pretty much the same. You have hundreds of options of shoes. And then in those shoes, you also have square toe shoes as well. And if you don't really know that they don't look that flattering, you might end up picking them. No shame in that as well. In the end, it would definitely be a lot easier to dress if there would be less ugly options available. And square toe shoes are one of those options. But for this, there's a very easy fix. Just go for some curved toe shoes. They're going to look better on you 100 percent of the time. Guaranteed. Next up on the list, we have super thin lapels. And this is something that I wish would stop in 2024 and beyond. And don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to be a style snob here and blame everybody who cannot afford a nice suit or a nice sports jacket. Because in the end, if you want to have a suit or a sports jacket with wide lapels, normally you have to invest at least four or five hundred dollars, which is a lot of money. So don't take this as a snobbish attack. This is more of a plea from me to the manufacturers to please stop producing those in 2024 and beyond. And if you're a slimmer guy, then of course, thinner lapels can also work quite well. But for the 
average guy or for someone who's a little bit heavier build, wider lapels or even really wide lapels will pretty much always look better. This kind of relates to my previous point about square toe shoes. If companies would stop producing those and they would also offer some suits and some jackets with wider lapels, it would be a lot easier to dress nicer. But I don't think that this trend is going away anytime soon because for the companies, this is not just a fashion statement, but it's also a financial decision because it might not seem like much. You just have this little bit of extra fabric. But if you multiply this by hundreds of thousands or even millions of units that they need to produce and sell per year, this really means a substantial amount of money to these companies. So that's why unfortunately, I don't think it's really going away anytime soon. So if you can afford it, then go for some wider lapels. And if you can't, then don't stress about it. I'm not trying to attack anybody here. Just the fact that you want to wear a suit or a sport jacket more often, it already means that you're making an effort to dress up and that effort alone should be applauded. So don't take this as a personal attack. This is just my plea to the manufacturers to please stop producing suits or sport jackets with very, very thin lapels. Number six on the list are really short suit pants. And this is more of a fashion statement, of course, but I still would hope that it would stop in 2024. And this is something, again, that's kind of okay if you're in your 20s, but if you're in your 30s or beyond, then it starts to look a little bit strange. And the only reason I put this on the list is because it's such a common sight these days. If you go to any type of store nowadays, most of the pants that you're gonna find are pretty short. Of course, how long you want your pants to be is up to you in the end. But in my opinion, I think it usually looks better either between a full break or no break. And no break is kind of when the pants are just touching your shoes, but they don't really rest on them. Anything shorter than that, and I think especially if you start seeing the entire ankle, I think it just doesn't look really right. Number seven is wearing gym or sports clothes in public without doing any sport or going to the gym. I think it was Karl Lagerfeld who famously said that anybody who wears gym clothes in public has lost control of their own lives. And I think to an extent he does make a good point and it's a side that we are very very used to nowadays. You see it a lot with women and also with guys nowadays. They wear leggings, gym pants in public everywhere. And in Germany nowadays we even have an international jogging or gym pants day where you will see students going to school or even maybe people going to work wearing joggers or gym pants. And in my opinion it's just not really the right direction that we're heading and I wish that this trend would stop in 2024 and beyond but luckily there's a little bit of hope on the horizon because you've probably seen this even with some very luxury brands many of them are starting to produce pants that are kind of a mix between gym pants and chinos or dress pants and I think it's a pretty good thing because it addresses sort of the younger crowd and for them it's definitely in my opinion a better option than wearing regular gym pants and it might be the sort of entry drug into dressing up more frequently and then moving slowly into dress pants as well who knows I also have a linen cotton pants like this with an elastic waistband and I really like it especially in summertime it's very comfortable it's great for traveling and when you're wearing a shirt over it you don't really see it that much the only downside of course is that you can't really tuck your shirt in so you have to wear a casual shirt or something that's untucked because if you tuck it in then you see the elastic waistband you see the ropes hanging down and it does look a little bit weird those were the seven items that I think should be out of style in 2024 and beyond and if you agree with me or you think that I forgot anything let me know in the comments below and if you liked the video please hit the like button subscribe to the channel and see you next time.